Michael is back with Pharaoh in the house. Just get into it. Get into it. You have to explain to everyone how Pharaoh, the name Pharaoh, came together because it's beautiful and perfect. Go. Thank you. Our names are Arabic. Yeah. Iman means faith. Siham means arrow. So faith and arrow. Pharaoh. That's how we came up with it. Ding. Love it. <laughs> perfect. You guys have lived such a life and have such an interesting story. And I think that only makes your music that much more like soulful and full of life. You grew up in Somalia. We were yeah. born in Somalia. Born in Somalia. Uh, we didn't have uh, the privilege of growing up there because the civil war broke out. So we came to Canada as refugees. I am thankful for growing up in Canada because I feel like, I don't know if we would have led the same life especially, you know, pursuing the career that we chose if we still lived in Somalia. How would you describe the sound of Pharaoh? We, we like to call it culture pop. You know, mm. it's a fusion of all of our influences and yeah. experiences. Like in the music, like it's, it's pop, it, it's soul, it's, it's R&B. There's like in the, in the percussion and stuff, you hear like Afro inspirations. It's like, it's just a fusion. Stadium music, that's what we like to call it. Yes. <laughs> you really know me, cause you don't know Fill in the blank. If you love blank, you will love Pharaoh. The Fuji's was a, a big a big deal for us because I feel like that's the first time we heard about refugees in mainstream media. We we're just mm. like, whoa, it's actually cool to be a refugee. Oh my god, like they're wearing it as a badge of honor. You know, growing up that was something like kids made fun of, like, you know, and I think as children we didn't really even understand what a refugee meant, but whoa, like the Fuji's was like mind blowing for us. There wasn't a lot of people that we could just like really like look up to and see ourselves, you know? Like, Khalees was one person, you know? Because mm. the curl, curly hair thing, yeah. people were like, oh my gosh, can't believe you're coming to school like that. Why don't you comb your hair? That yeah. was like the whole thing. Oh it my wasn't God. cool until like, you know. It wasn't cool until Khalees and like the Spice Girls really when Scary Spice had big hair. <laughs> Really, it was like, when, then it was like, oh, your hair's cool. Okay, it, it makes sense now. I guess, I guess your hair's cool. But now you two are the prettiest girls in class. Oh, so. Thank you. Hi, everyone. That was <laughs> a while back. <laughs> Spice Girls were kind of like huge for they, you both, yes? Literally, I mean, yeah. that was the first time I think anybody heard girl power. Like, mm. yeah. speaking of girl power, I'm going to just turn around real quick. Uh-oh. This says girl power in Arabic. Bam! <laughs> Qawwatul Fatah means girl, the power of girls, yes. you know, and there's no, I guess, girl power in Arabic, but that's like the closest. Yes. That yes, was the closest, um, and that's just a big deal for us because, you know, in our culture and many cultures and a lot of girls that like email us, it's like, you know, women are not um, encouraged to express themselves creatively in a lot of these places like where we grew up and things like that. No, not in Canada, but, you know, coming from Somalia. Mm -hmm. And that's just something that we just kind of, it's like our driving force and our purpose. It's all about girl power. You have a new EP yes. that just came out. Yes. Lost. Yes. Listen to Lost because uh, listen to the full EP. Yes. Lost and Shut Up are my favorite. If that okay. tells you anything about me. <laughs> cool. A huge driving force behind the new music is Elijah Kelly. Yes. How did you link with Elijah? So we've actually been friends for a long time, like longer than we've actually even been doing music. When we first moved back to LA. Yeah, but yeah. we're mm. like. We're always like, come on, we gotta do music, we gotta do music. And he's so, like he only did music for himself and he was just so like secretive about it. I'm like, get over it, yeah. let's do music. He has a lot of, you know, relationships because of, you know, who he is and the projects that he's done. And of course. one yeah. of those was Zac Efron on Shut Up who mm. like came to the studio and was like doing background vocals on the song. So he has like yeah. background vocals. It was like a hairspray reunion. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> Um, it was really cool, but yeah, yeah, Elijah's just been down and, you know, it was just good to like find a producer who really connects with us, who knew us because we we're friends and understood, understood our sound and what we were trying to create and he just jumped right in. Um, and somebody to, you know, be consistent and, 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 and just stick around because a lot of times producers is like, things don't get finished, you want to do an entire project, but it's like you get one song only, but, mm. so this was just a blessing. Check out the EP. It's Check it out. Crazy. <laughs> Lost. Hey, do you want to sing a little bit? Yes. Sure. What are you, what are you gonna do? We can, we can do, do like a little snippet of Lost, Lost since our title yes. of our, our EP is Lost. Please. Um, and the song on our EP is called Lost, and that's why we tend to call it Lost. Yeah.
Cause I know where I'm going Just don't know how or when Yeah, I'm working the lobby But I'll be up in the pen Feel like the first of the month Feel like I'm about to get paid You think I'm going in circles But trust me, I find my way Don't call me lost Oh no No, I'm not lost You see me wandering But I ain't lost I might not win them all But I ain't lost I ain't lost, okay? We are not we lost. We are not lost. You see me on the street, look at me, now you're talking.